What's up, guys? Uh, this is Coach Nedu. So today I'm going to be talking about uh, being stressed out and how it affects your workouts. And so um, I won't be too long, but I'm pretty sure everyone's stressed out. <laughs> so um, the American Psychological Association did some research, and um, in the survey they found that two thirds of Americans actually said that they feel stressed out. Half of those people that responded said that they're stressed out about the future of our nation. And so it sounds like everyone's stressed out. But how's this affecting your workouts? Right? So we're here to talk about fitness and how it affects your workouts. Um, another thing is also like the Facebook feed, right? And so we're constantly being bombarded with notifications and uh, different news updates on something that's going on across the world or even in our home state that we're constantly in this state of re reacting and responding to so much information and so much news that no wonder why we're stressed out. Um, interesting thing is like stress affects your performance, it affects your behavior, uh, your emotions, and I'll go in depth a little bit uh, into how this affects your, your, your emotions and stuff. What's up, Sheena? <laughs> so uh, there's an exercise physiologist, uh, his name, I might be massacring this. His name is Matthew Stoltz Kolemanen. Anyways, he's an exercise physiologist at Yale, and he's an adjunct professor at Columbia University, and he has done a ton of research on the effects of stress and uh, performance. And uh, what he found is that uh, with stress, yes, it affects you emotionally, it affects you uh, physically, but it also affects right, your performance. And uh, what he found is that when we're stressed out, things that we would normally do seem to take more effort, I meaning it's effortful, right? So everything you start to do in the gym just seems to be taking more effort. Uh, it takes more time to do it because there's so much weighing on your mind. Uh, there's a theory that's, that is called in psychology self-regulation, and uh, it's the idea that, you know, uh, we have a certain amount of, like, willpower uh, throughout the day. The ability to make decisions tends to decrease over time, right? So when you have so many decisions eventually your ability to make the right decision wears off because we have a certain amount of willpower. That's kind of what that's based off of. And so whenever we're thinking about something, right, our mind is preoccupied with that. And so over time, we tend to make more negative decisions, right? When we're stressed out, we go eat, right, like junk food, or we go binge watch on TV, just something to kind of space out and take us away from this place. And so... What exactly can we do about this, right? And this also affects your recovery. It's going to take you longer to recover from your workouts. So what can we do? Uh, one of the things he proposes is, um, number one, you can have, like, extended warm-ups. So take some time in your warm-ups because, because it seems to be taking more effort to do that, right? Yes, exercise, get some blood circulation, move around. But because it seems like it takes more effort, maybe take a little bit longer or make the workouts less intense. And it could even be just walking in the park, right? Just moving around. Make it really, really easy so that it's not hard. And now you're able to get the benefit of being stress-free while you're working out. Uh, number two is uh, anticipate. Uh, one of the things that is stressful is whenever some, some, uh, something happens to us and it's something that we weren't anticipating to happen to us. So plan, right? Plan for what could possibly happen anticipate the things that could potentially happen. Uh, that's number two. So in regards to anticipating, also figure out what matters to you, right? Like when you're working out or whatever you're doing, like figure out what's important to you. And this kind of helps you delineate what things you should be focusing on and not focusing on and deconstructing the thing that you're stressed out about into different compartments to where you can attack this one at a time. And therefore, you break down this big monster in the mind. Um, and even out, even with number two, uh, think about what you do with your free time. So a lot of times, uh, in, even in this world today, we have more free time than we've ever had, right? The ability to work from a computer, work mobile, travel around the world, and uh, do what you love doing. But uh, think about what you're doing with your time. Like, actually break your time down into hours and see where it's spent, because a lot of times, we spend more time watching other, you know, like TV or binge watching. We're actually wasting our time as opposed to focusing on what's important and doing what we need to do at that time. 
So make good use of your time, right? That's one way to kind of handle stress. Uh, number three is be present, right? So turn off your phones, turn off the notifications on all of these devices, um, whether it's Twitter and take off Twitter from your phone, right? Take off Instagram from your phone. Uh, you don't need another notification. Make it hard for you to actually start checking. Uh, we spend so much time just kind of on Facebook looking for something interesting, right? Just mindlessly in line doing that. Well, maybe read a book, right? Actually pick up something hard, like a hard cover, as opposed to reading online, but actually read something hard because you're less likely to be distracted by other notifications that pop up on your computer screen, right? Like we got notifications on a phone, notifications on our computer. So um, that's one way to kind of eliminate being bombarded. You know, check your email at a certain time of the day. Don't check it when you wake up in the morning. Um, delete notifications. And uh, also before you go to bed, and this is one big one that I love doing, when you have a lot on your mind, before you go to bed, um, as opposed to, you know, oh, I'm so stressed out, I can't go to sleep, write down everything that's on your mind. And this is kind of like a brain dump. Write it down on a sheet of paper. And now you've placed this from your mind on a sheet of paper, so now it's somewhere stored physically, and you can always come back to that, right? You can decide to handle that later. And uh, these are just some of the tactics you can use to kind of help with being stressed and it not affecting your, your workout or your performance. And uh, I use these in my own life, and hopefully you find these helpful. Till next time, guys, I'm out.